In this video we're going to look at the journey of food as it passes through our digestive system. To begin we will look at the mouth and the salivary glands. In the mouth the teeth break down the food into smaller chunks. This is called mastication. The food is mixed with saliva. The salivary glands produce enzymes that begin to break down large molecules into smaller ones. The tongue will then help roll the food into a ball for it to be swallowed down into the next part of the digestive system, which is the esophagus. Food goes down through the esophagus, or sometimes called the gullet, into the stomach. The stomach contains hydrochloric acid to kill bacteria, and it also contains enzymes for digestion. Muscles in the stomach contract to churn the food. The food then passes into the small intestine. In the small intestine, nutrients are absorbed into the blood. The walls of the small intestine are covered in folds called villi. These provide a large surface area to speed up digestion. The food then moves into the large intestine. In the large intestine, excess water is absorbed into the blood and undigested food forms faeces. The food then passes round into the rectum. Faeces is stored in the rectum until it is released. And finally, faeces is passed out of the body through the anus. This is called excretion. There are other organs involved in digestion, although the food does not pass through these organs. Food does not travel through the liver, but the liver is involved in digestion. The liver makes bile, and bile is stored in the gallbladder. Bile helps break down lipids, and bile also neutralises stomach acid, making sure the pH of the small intestine remains alkaline. So you can see the gallbladder here is where the bile is stored. The bile will travel down and be injected at the top of the small intestine, where the stomach meets the small intestine. Food in the stomach would have been mixed with hydrochloric acid. And as that food travels down, you don't want that acid to be taken into the small intestines because the conditions in here are alkaline. So the bile being added not only helps break down lipids, but it also helps to neutralize that stomach acid. Food does not travel through the pancreas, but the pancreas is involved in digestion. The pancreas makes a number of digestive enzymes, including carbohydrates, protease, and lipase. Finally, you will sometimes see the appendix labeled on a digestive system diagram. The appendix is a small extension of the large intestine at the very start where the small intestine and the large intestine meet. The appendix is not involved in digestion. Inflammation of the appendix, appendicitis, is life-threatening and results in the removal of the appendix in an emergency operation. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSCRevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at ScienceSurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos, as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.